Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the Odin 2 and we're going to install PS Vita Vita 3K emulation on the device. So the first thing you need to do is go over to the Vita3K.org website and scroll down until you get to the build section. So in the bottom here you've got the Android builds. Now it says Android Nightly, so the last update was you know, back on the 2nd of October. So you want to scroll down, download the Vita3K Android release dash 8.apk. That's the current latest version. You will also need to download a couple other files from the internet. Um, basically, Google the firmware version. So you'll go, you'll get taken directly to the Sony website where you can download the the um, PSP to updat.pop file. There's also another file psvupdat.pop. You'll need these two files for later on. So in your downloads folder, if you um, Go into your files, scroll down to the installation and it'll ask you if you want to install the app, click install. Now you might be prompted to um, allow it to install sideloaded apps, so you need to accept that. So that's the app installed, but open that now. So the next thing it's going to do is guide you through some settings, so we're going to change that to the UK and we're going to click next. So you've got down, from here you can download your firmware and your font package. So if you just click download firmware, it'll just go away and I'll download it automatically from the uh, Sony website. Uh, so you download them and you'll get a little V instead of an X once you've downloaded it. Then you need to install those firmware files. So um, scroll down to your downloads and we will put the uh, that file on first. So it's the firmware. PSP2 updat.pup is the firmware file. Let that install, it'll take a second. Okay, so that's installed. Now it's telling you to install the firmware font package. So we already have that as well. That's the the PSV up that dot pop. Okay, so that's now installed. So I'm not sure why it's doing this for me just now. It keeps saying that it's downloaded that file, but it doesn't seem to be applying. So what we'll do is we'll just ignore that just now and we'll click next. And um, we'll just leave these stock settings here and we'll click next. And that's it. Initially set up PS Vita uh, emulation Vita 3K. So we'll click OK. You get a little. Uh, Information page here, we'll not show that next time. You notice it's not quite fitting on the page properly here, so we'll adjust that in a minute. Create yourself a user. So we'll just... We'll confirm that. Okay that. We'll just say automatic login. And there we go, that's us up and running. So what we'll quickly do is we'll just look in the configuration settings. In fact, we'll look at the uh, firmware bit again, just to be sure. Let's just try that PSP update up pop again, make sure that's actually applying. Okay, it doesn't seem to be giving any issues, so we'll just... Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to set up the um, support on this. So most of this I just leave at stock and CPU. We leave it, there's only one option for dynamic, so that's fine. Under GPU, I make sure it's set to Vulkan, which it is. Um, everything else is just standard, which is fine. Internal resolution, so that's stock resolution, 960 by 544. That's the native PSV emulation. So when I put that at least to two times, which would be roughly 1080p, it will run quite happily at four times, which is like, what's that, 4K nearly? So that runs well at that, to be honest. Now, I am currently running standard performance mode. So... <clears throat> so we'll scroll down the bottom here and we'll click save now unfortunately Vita 3K is a little bit temperamental in its settings so sometimes this menu will disappear you've kind of got to swipe down from above sometimes the screen resolution won't be perfect but um, you just have to go in and mess around so to set up the controller properly go to configuration into settings and in the system and put it in PS TV mode. That way it won't have the rear touchpad. Because obviously the Odin 2 doesn't have a rear touchpad. So that'll just use um, PS3 controller mode basically. And click close on there. So as you can see we've got a couple of bits here but we've no games installed. So what you want to do now is install some games. Now I've had difficulty getting the PKGs working properly. So installing a zip or a VPK is the better version. So .zip works most for me. So what I found is 
When I download the game, if I click in here just now, I'll select a file. If I go into my retro folder and down to Vita, so most of the games I have are in the, the standard sort of folder format with our PCSB and then a number or PCSF and a number. So what you need to do there is, if you click on one of these, you basically got the, the, the game download, but it won't actually install from there. So you need to zip those files up. Now what I found the easiest way to do that is if you zip them on your PC and then zap them across onto your Odin 2, they don't seem to work. So what I've found is if you download an app like Z Archiver from, from the App Store, you can zip up one of your apps here. So I've already done some, so here's some here. So we'll do 590. So if I click on there, make sure you change to zip because if it's a 7Z file, 7F, 7Z file, that won't work. So, or any of these other formats. So, you need to make sure it's zip. Make sure that it's just left the zip crypto for the encryption and just okay that and let it do its thing. So, I'll now zip up that folder, PCSB00590. So, we'll see that here we've got zero, there's 590 there. So, you can delete that folder later on, but we'll come back to that. Into Vita3K, and we will go to File, File, Install Zip, select File. So we will go into that folder that I created, that zip file, that is PCSB00590. We'll click on there and it'll install it. Now this can sometimes take a little while, this is quite a small game, but it will still sometimes take a while. And you'll see it appear here. Now, there's a compatibility column, it'll tell you, if you look on the uh, Vita 3K website, you can find out which games are most compatible. I think green is what you're looking for mostly. Um, I've, I've got a few games I would love to work, but they're red. We'll just give it a go though, and we'll see what happens. So you see we've got the on-screen controls at the moment. We can turn that off. And you can see it's, it's filling the screen. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, overlap at the sides, but can't really help that. Now, I have to play in offline mode. And um, if we swipe down from above, maybe not swipe from the right, sorry. If we've got controls and overlay, we can show the overlay, turn that off actually, and go back to the game. And here you go, it's running pretty well, as you can see. Now, some games will run naturally very well. Very well at 60 FPS. And some games run quite poorly, they'll really stuck at about 30 FPS. Obviously I'm not very good at this game. But, as you can see it's running pretty well here. If we swipe from the right we can quit that game, hit escape at the top there to quit the game. Install another title for example, if we go to same process as before and scroll to the bottom where we'll install this one here, see what that is. Resistance Burning Skies. Now this game, I would love this game to work. I got Platinum on this game on the, on the Vita when it first came out. But it's a red title. Now it does take a little while to install so I'll just skip to the end of that. Now as you can see, some games can take a very long time to install. And in fact, you might find in some cases the game is completely frozen. In fact, I think that might be the case now. So I'll just restart and cut back to installed. Okay, so that took a very long time to load. It took about nearly 10 minutes. And um, as you can see, it's installed. But it's, it's an orange game, so it's not going to work properly anyway. But you can start that. This would be a great game if it ran properly, but unfortunately it doesn't. Now you can change things, it's set to Vulcan just now, you can change it to OpenGL, but most games doesn't make much difference to be honest, they run better in Vulcan, so. And you'll get the um, initial scene seems okay, but when it goes to a later cutscene the colours are all strangely inverted. And then when the game actually starts proper, you can't actually play. But, you know, that's just to show that it does actually work. And as you can see, it's a 30 FPS game, this one. So, um, let's just exit there just now. As I say, you can go in and go into configuration, into settings. 
And there is an option here somewhere, I think it's another GPU, where you can change the, the Vulkan to OpenGL. To be honest, it doesn't make a huge difference in some of these games. Uh, you can also do things like turn on turbo mode, which uh, ramps up the uh, clock speed of the GPU side. Now, you can probably hear my fan running there. I've actually, while I was installing that, put up to high performance mode. So we'll go back down to normal mode. And, um, yeah, sometimes strange things can happen. We could try it now with uh, OpenGL. But it probably won't make much difference. But there you have it. It's not so difficult to install Vita 3K. A little bit of configuration set up. My biggest suggestion is if you download games, try and get them in the, uh, the folder format and then use a tool like Z Archiver to zip them up. And then they generally tend to install OK. That was the biggest issue I had. It took me a little while to get on top of that. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.